To play quarterback at the University of Michigan, you have to have it all. You need to have guts, the smarts, the arms, and most of all, mental toughness. That has defined the Michigan quarterback throughout its program's history, and with the departure of JJ McCarthy, they have to find their guy who's up next. As how it always goes on YouTube, I made a video talking about the Michigan quarterback situation, and pretty much everybody acted like I was ridiculous, stupid, crazy, or every term you can possibly think of. They have two developmental quarterbacks in Alex Orji and Jaden Denegal, and people were telling me that they're going to be better than McCarthy. No offense, it's probably not going to happen, but I will say, after doing research and reading through the comment section, there is a quarterback on the Michigan roster who really should be getting a lot of hype and should be getting talked about, and that is Jaden Davis. Jaden Davis was a middle school prodigy. In 8th grade, both Alabama and Georgia offered him, and he was seen as the next big thing. He's even the number one player in his recruiting class after his sophomore year, and after completely balling out the rest of his high school career, Davis ended up dropping in the recruiting rankings. I'm not really sure why, but Michigan got an absolute steal in Jaden Davis. Everybody should be talking about him, and today I will. We're to go through who Jaden Davis is, we're to talk about why he became a prodigy quarterback, his future with the Michigan Wolverines, and why I'm so excited for him in the future. But before we get started, if you're a big college football fan, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like if you want to support today's video, and let me know what player, team, topic, or situation I could cover next. Now let's get started and talk about Jaden Davis. So in order to understand how Davis got to this point, we first need to go back in time. It really started when Jaden was a 7 year old water boy, as he did that for his brother's football team. He was not content with keeping the guys hydrated, as he quote, would have a wristband on his hand and would say to the coach, hey man, we should be calling this play on this type of defense. That is what Davis's father said, and the coach was amazed at the seven year old. His mom though said it started earlier. She said quote, ever since he was about four, everything came naturally to him. Luckily, football would run in his family, as his older brother Kadarius, who he was the water boy for, would end up playing at the defensive line at North Alabama. He said, quote, I always grew up around my older brother, and that was the first person that influenced me in my life and him playing football. I grew up liking the quarterback, and I liked saying the word hut. He would end up getting much better, and he eventually had a serious future at the quarterback position. On June 28th of 2019, a 13-year-old quarterback from Charlotte had two scholarship offers from Georgia and Alabama. His name was Jaden Davis. That would happen in June of 2019, and he said, quote, My social media blew up as soon as I clicked the button on Twitter. It was pretty hectic, and I had to turn my phone off for a little bit. I'm young, and I have a long way to go until I commit, and I'm just trying to stay a kid, and I've got to keep grinding and keep working. In 8th grade, he ended up throwing for 716 yards and 10 touchdowns, and would have 5 more on the ground. Because of that, he started to throw for Nick Saban and Kirby Smart, and was considered a prodigy. His coach said, quote, it is unusual, but college recruiting itself is unusual today, and it's hard to explain. Four or five years ago, this was unheard of. Eventually, Davis went to a camp in Athens and showed his talent in front of Georgia coaches. After the camp, he met with their quarterback's coach, James Coley, and was surprised with an offer. He said, quote, I've always dreamed of this as a kid, and when they told me I got an offer, I said dreams really do come true, and I didn't expect it. Eventually, he would arrive at Catawba Ridge High School, and everyone knew he was special there but they didn't want to do too much. Even when he was a freshman, they didn't want to put too much weight on him and sort of had baby steps for him. He'd eventually become more confident and would grow in their system, and it was easy to keep him going from there. In the first game of his high school career, he started against South Point. They were a powerhouse high school in Rock Hill, South Carolina, and they produced Jadavian Clowney, amongst others. They ended up losing 31-14, and Davis spent the entirety of the game running for his life. It was a rude welcome to the world of big time high school football, but he showed mental poise, which was a huge deal. As a sophomore, he would really start to take off, as he would start 9 games, throwing for 1,700 yards, 14 touchdowns, and 6 picks. After that, he was named the 24-7 sports number one prospect for the class of 2024, and would field offers from Bama, Georgia, South Carolina, Ohio State, Penn State, and Oregon, amongst others. He was also apparently at the Clemson-Georgia game in 2021 and was at the Ohio State-Oregon game. He was a high-profile guy at marquee games for big-time programs. At the time, he was also being coached by former Duke quarterback star Anthony Boone, and he would train him up and really help him develop. Obviously, at the time, Davis was the next big thing and was already being talked about as a Sunday player as a sophomore. His coach said, quote, I think he can go all the way to the NFL. He's that good. He has a strong head and he's not cocky. When he's out there, you know he's about business. At the same time, he also decided to make a switch as he went from Catawba Ridge High School to Providence Day High School in Charlotte. His coach said, quote, We wish him nothing but the best, and we appreciate what he gave us the last two years. We are all big Jaden Davis fans moving forward. 
From there, he'd take over at Providence Day and went on to completely dominate. As a junior, he threw for 3,400 yards with 43 touchdowns and just six interceptions. In two special seasons, he was the best player in the state of North Carolina. He became the first player in state history to win the Mr. Football World back-to-back -back years, and he was truly a huge deal. Through his four years as a starting quarterback in high school, he ended up accounting for 111 touchdowns and 9,300 yards through the air. He definitely lived up to the hype. But where was he going to go? Well, he would drop a list that included Clemson, Michigan, North Carolina, Ohio State, and Tennessee, and at the time, he was listed as the nation's number two quarterback and the 28th overall player in the country. He would eventually pick the Wolverines, and it was mostly because of the coaching. He said, quote, me and Coach Harbaugh clicked instantly, and I'd run through a brick wall for Coach Harbaugh. He keeps it brutally honest, and I'm big with trust, and he's never lied to me. He's always been straight up, and he's been nothing but loyal to me. Davis is definitely a special talent, as it is somewhat rare for Michigan to land a five-star quarterback. It kind of seems crazy, but it's true. He was just the third five-star quarterback to ever sign with the Wolverines, and it was definitely a roller coaster of a recruiting cycle for the Wolverines. The quarterback situation wasn't always great, as many thought they would get five-star quarterback Dante Moore from MLK High School in Detroit, but he would end up going to Oregon before flipping to UCLA. The Dante Moore situation was obviously in 2023 instead of 2024, but it had an impact on the next year. They also went for CJ Carr, who is from Saline, Michigan, and there was no reason why Michigan wouldn't be able to get him. He was the grandson of former Michigan coach Lloyd Carr, but at the end of the day, CJ decided to commit to Notre Dame. With the two top quarterbacks in Michigan's backyard in 2023 and 2024 going elsewhere, the Jaden Davis decision was huge for them. Ultimately, his recruitment went on a lot longer than many expected, but there are many signs that he wanted to compete for the starting job once J.J. McCarthy departed. Obviously, Jaden lived up to all his hype, and with a ton of hype comes a lot of hate. After he made his college choice in March of last year, he apparently had to buy a second cell phone because some idiot on a message board leaked his phone number and he was getting hate mail, and that someone wanted him to tear his ACL. It also happened on the field of play. His head coach, Chad Greer, said, quote, Every time he threw an incomplete pass, someone screamed at him overrated. He's developed a toughness about him and a maturity that is beyond his years. He's uniquely qualified for a place like Michigan and to be the face of a program there. He was obviously a huge deal and won big and put up big numbers, but for some unknown reason, he dropped in the 24-7 sports rankings. By the end of it, he was only a four-star recruit, the number nine quarterback, and the 111th best player in the class of 2024. What's also worth noting is that while he was at Providence Day High School, he played for head coach Chad Greer, who's obviously the father of former five-star recruit Will Greer, who played at Florida, West Virginia, and in the NFL, and he was also the head coach of Sam Hartman, who played at both Wake Forest and Notre Dame. So if history speaks for itself, Davis should be pretty decent, and it also means he'll probably transfer. Just kidding. After being that huge get for Michigan, he would choose to enroll early, and now has a ton of hype for the Wolverines going into the future. Currently, he'll likely be the backup to both Jaden Denegal and Alex Orgy, and then Jack Tuttle will also be in the mix, but he's not really that good. But maybe he starts earlier than that. Davis has already proven he has the mental toughness, he put up insane stats, and has now been getting a ton of praise from coaches. Coach Harbaugh said, quote, The thing that is sticking out is that if you give him coaching, he gets it immediately. New head coach Sharon Moore said, quote, It's been great supporting Jaden. He's smart, tactical, has a great arm, and is accurate. He's going to be a really good player for us. Both Harbaugh and Coach Moore are big voices in the program, obviously, but their former quarterback McCarthy described Davis as, quote, extremely cool. They developed a close friendship, and McCarthy said, quote, it clicked from the start. He's a tremendous athlete, a tremendous thrower of the football, and I trained with him a couple of times, and the sky is the limit for him. So honestly, I don't know why Jaden Davis fell in the rankings. He put up nearly 10,000 yards, lived up to all the unbelievable hype he had coming out of middle school, has great size, and seemingly can do pretty much anything. Everybody's going back and forth about how good Alex Orgy or how good Jaden Denegal can be, and it's no knock on them, but in my opinion, they don't even compare to the potential that Davis has. If Michigan fans should be excited for the future about a certain quarterback, it should be him. But again, what do I know? According to the YouTube comment section, that's nothing. But what do you guys think? If you're a Michigan fan, what do you think of this year's quarterback room? What do you think of Jaden Davis? And if you're a fan of another school, who's another quarterback or quarterback recruit I could take a look at next? Be sure to let me know down below, leave a like if you're to support this video, subscribe if you're new, and check out all my other videos on the end screen. Hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.